Now about anime controls. So uh, anime controls are any of those that are created with a TAM control. So you can uh, adjust them a little bit in a few ways. So you, for example, you can adjust the size of it by just dragging this um, slider here uh, or the orientation of it. Um, and you can also adjust them in this. So if you want, you can just pin it here and then uh, either use shortcuts, for example, uh, let's say here. So control click would just increase the size, alt click would decrease and so on. You can play around with those. They're all in the right click menu as well. Um, I can also change the shape of it. There's a few to choose. So you can just play with them and pick whatever makes more sense. Um, the other thing that you can do is to add some extra controls. So this button here will add a child control. So right now there's only one control for the microphone, but if I add here, I can add like a second one. And the good thing about it is that it's almost like working with anime layers, but without having to go through the hassle of it, just adding another control and you can maybe just offset from it or you can add more animation to this. And then once you are done, you can just delete it and it's gonna bake, bake down to that position again. Uh, the other thing you can do is to add a parent control. So a parent is gonna add to whatever space. So this is the world space and to add at the art in there. And this is good to reorient the thing if you need it. Um, or, you know, do any animation that's gonna be the parent of the previous animation here. Same thing, like you can delete that if you need. And again, like you can also access here in the menu. So a quick way would be to just, uh, let's see what's the, okay, so shift. To add a parent control is shift control click or just shift click to add a child. Um, and those other two are to edit the pivot. So that's that's good for you know if you need uh, the pivot to be somewhere else like you usually if you create a, a control let's say for the handlers move this out of the way a little bit so if I create a control for the hand it's usually going to create uh, in the same spot that the other control was but it, you know I can just edit the pivot here and move it somewhere else if I needed to and then the whole thing is going to be moved that way. And then you can animate from there. In the example, example here, <clears throat> you can see why you would uh, choose another pivot position if you needed to. And again, like once you are done, you can just bake and it's going to go away. Uh, and this is going to reset the pivot. So if I create, if I create a control game, uh, it's going to remember where, where it is. So if you need to reset it, just hit that button. Or again, you have here in that menu as well. Uh, and 
lastly, there's some advanced stuff that you can do. I'm not gonna go into details here, but you can visit that link. If you are into scripting, you can do all of it with uh, some scripting and automate things that you do. For example, one thing that uh, I do all the time is the example of the, the knee. Let me roll back here on the top here. So this example here, if you do that a lot, you could do something, for example, say, um, I want just to highlight this and hit a button and that's gonna just bake that section uh, in world space. So you pretty much like you would get the knee smooth, uh, the, the, no the noise in that part. You know, like there, there's some things that you can do, but you need to do some extra Python scripting on top of it in combination with this. As a final note here, uh, you can set a hotkey to pretty much every command that you can find in the menus here. So if you use stuff a lot, like say I add a child control or add the pivot. Uh, you might want to add this as a hotkey. So there's a few ways to do it. You can either go to the hotkeys and look for for it, or you can search, say edit pivot, and then you can click here, and uh, you can type any thing like say control. I don't know, control three and then apply, or another uh, shortcut. If you go in here and then carefully exit and go to the tooltip button here, it's also going to go to there. And lastly, if you if you hold Shift Control Alt and then you go to that menu here and then you middle click whatever you want here it's also going to open the uh, hotkey editor and then put everything you want and then you can start using that as a hotkey